So finally, after a month of playing NBA 2K21, a legend is born. The first legend is born is Glidy DF. I think it's how you say his name. He hit legend tonight with about 62,000 people in the stream. Now, what I will say about the rewards that came with legend, I feel like you should get more rewards to come with legend. But nonetheless, he grinded for it. He, gl he grinded to get his badges. He grinded for the, 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 the reward where you fly in into the into the the beach now last year they had the helicopter this year it was, it was a little different now if you was in the stream you see all the people that pulled up of course you know your boy post hooking pulled up which for some reason people hate post hooking but they love post hooking which in nba 2k 21 on next gen if he gets it everybody's gonna love him he's gonna, he's gonna be clouded and he's gonna blow up that's just how it works people hate you then they love you then they hate you again then they hate you then they love you then they hate you again it's just a cycle so Here's a clip of him actually hitting the hitting legend. It took him a while. I think he probably was streaming 28 hours or 29 hours, which is insane. But you know, somebody got to do it. And of course, I would say the plus, the plus with hitting legend is you get those you get those badges, man. So as you can see, you can see he's he's he's, he's tacking on his badges. How everyone has put his badges on. I know, he, I know he said in his stream that he was just gonna just put the badges wherever right now and then go back through and rearrange them. But he kind of act like he didn't know what to do because it was a lot of extra upgrades and he was just like, man. He was like, man, I got all these up extra upgrades. He's kept saying it's over, it's over. So, I mean, it's going to be over for the competition. If you couldn't beat them before, um, chances are you're going to have a hard time beating them now with those extra upgrades. And, you know, because you get 10 upgrades every category. Now, that, I think that's worth hitting Legend for, you know. Now, I feel like you should be able to get extra things when you hit Legend besides just, besides extra Legend panels and I guess a copy of NBA 2K21 on Next Gen, if they if, if that was even a reward, I don't know. I have to go back and look at the rewards. But last year, like I said, they had the helicopter. You flew in on the helicopter, which is pretty dope. This year, you flew in, but it wasn't technically, it wasn't kind of, it wasn't a helicopter, you know what I'm saying, that you flew in on, you know what I'm saying? So, but I still think that it was pretty awesome. As you're going to see in this clip right here, this is him actually flying in. And you know, you notice it's not a helicopter, really wouldn't make a lot of noise. It's actually a blimp. And you know what I'm saying, he's actually on the, the stairs of the blimp flying into the, um, the, the beach, 2K beach, and he jumps off of it. Only they let you parachute in, which is pretty dope, but I still think they should have um, at least gave you the option of how you wanted to come in by jetpack. You know, I feel like all the old legend rewards should always be an option to choose from instead of them just giving you something. Um, so let me know what y'all think about this. Let me know what you think about this guy hitting legend. Let me know if you thought the grind was worth it. I'm pretty sure he did, and it's, you know, it's going to pay off in the end, money wise and clout wise. I'm YPD. Well, I ain't YPD. I'm YPD. I'm, I'm, I'm production uh leave a comment in the comment section below subscribe to the channel like up the video man and i will be back to y'all with more content man as soon as i got more content